Hello dear friends, welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the comprehensive learning preparation app for your competitive examination. Now you can learn important concepts of GATE through this Coffee with Concept series. In today's session, I am going to discuss about Catalan number. There are around 60 plus problems which you find in your data structures, algorithm, discrete mathematics, etc for which Catalan number is the solution. In today's session, I am going to discuss some of the problems for which Catalan number is the solution. Before that, this is about me, myself Sridhar Dhulipala. I am having 20 plus years of teaching experience and I am associated with Baiju's from past two years. Dear friends, you can join my telegram group CS underscore Sridhar to get regular updates about my classes. Now let us see what is this Catalan number. See Catalan number is expressed in terms of binomial coefficients and the nth Catalan number is given by the following formula which is 1 by n plus 1 2n cn. It is binomial coefficient only just expressed in different notation my dear friends. See many problems for which Catalan number is the solution, they satisfy the following recurrence relation, which is known as Sejner's recurrence relation. And the solution of this particular recurrence relation turns out to be Catalan number. And you can see many versions or many variations of the Catalan number. And you can prove that all these are one and the same, just different ways of expressing same Catalan number. Most of the time we will be using the first variant, my dear friends, but they are all different ways of expressing Catalan number. You can also express in one more way. This is 2n cn minus 2n cn plus 1. If you simplify, you again get the same formula, my dear friends. If you simplify, you get again the same formula. So, all these forms of the Catalan number are actually solutions for this particular Sejner's recurrence. Now let us see the problems for which Catalan number is the solution. Of course, before that, one should know the starting 5 or 6 Catalan numbers that is good for health. C0 is 1, C1 is 1, C2 is 2, C3 is 5. See, if you want, you can also verify using the formula 1 by n plus 1. 2n c n. So, if you simplify this is 20 by 4 which is equal to 5. You can always verify this my dear friend. c4 is 14 and c5 is 42. You can remember or you can always derive this my dear friends. It is very very simple. Let us consider the first problem. Multiplication orderings. Suppose we have set of n plus numbers to multiply together. See, when you want to multiply n plus 1 numbers means we have to perform how many multiplications, my dear friends? We have to perform n multiplications. See, for example, if you consider three numbers, say A, B, C, there will be two multiplications. But without changing the order of the numbers, we can change order of multiplication. For example, first I can multiply with A with B. Then the resultant can be multiplied with C or first I can multiply B with C, then I can multiply with A. This is what you call it as number of multiplication orders without changing the order of numbers. So, if you are having n plus 1 numbers, how many multiplication orderings are possible? And the order or the answer is given by Catalan number. That is, if you are having n plus 1 numbers, the number of multiplication orderings is given by cn. So, if you are having two numbers, that is one multiplication to be performed, number of multiplication orderings will be 1. If you are having three numbers, number of multiplication orderings will be equal to 2. And if you are having four numbers, the number of multiplication orderings possible will be 5. Of course, you can list and verify or 
you can use the formula n plus 1 is equal to 4 means n is equal to 3 that is we are having 4 numbers means number of multiplication orderings will be equal to c3 which is equal to 5. See the Catalan number can tell you how many orderings are possible without listing them. Okay, so this is our first problem. Now let us see the second problem. Binary trees. Number of binary trees with n unlabeled vertices or nodes is given by Catalan number Cn. That is, if you are having one unlabeled node, the number of binary trees possible will be C1, which is equal to 1. You can check that. Number of binary trees with two unlabeled nodes is given by C2, which is equal to 2. You can verify the two binary trees. And number of binary trees with three unlabeled nodes is given by C3, and C3 is equal to 5. And you can see the five binary trees with three unlabeled nodes. One, two, three, four, and five. And similarly, if you want to know number of binary trees with four unlabeled nodes, that is given by C4, and C4 is equal to 14. If you want, you can try, my dear friends. The third problem. Strict binary tree. What is a strict binary tree? A strict binary tree is one which is having either nodes of degree 0 or nodes of degree 2 only. That is either leaf nodes or nodes of degree 2. We call the nodes of degree 2 as internal nodes. The number of strict binary trees with n internal unlabeled vertices or nodes is also given by Catalan number. Here n is the number of internal nodes. So, if you are having zero internal node, that is no internal nodes, that is a single node, leaf node, then number of binary trees will be, that is strict binary trees will be 1, because you know C0 is equal to 1. With one internal node, with one internal node, how many strict binary trees are possible? Because n is equal to 1, c1 is equal to 1, that is only 1. And with two internal nodes, c2, that is equal to 2. Two strict binary trees are possible. And these are the two strict binary trees with two internal nodes. See here, these fellows are the internal nodes. Here, this is the internal node. Here there is no internal node. Similarly, if you are having three internal nodes, then we can have five strict binary trees, my dear friends. The fourth one, binary search tree. The number of binary search trees with n vertices. Here in binary search trees, they are obviously labeled binary search trees, my dear friends. Okay because there is a key value associated with each node. So, they are labeled only. And number of binary search trees with n nodes or n vertices is given by Catalan number. <coughs> For example, if you are having one node, obviously that one node must be having a label and we have only one binary search tree. It may be having some label, my dear friends. Maybe the label is one. Suppose you are having two nodes. Number of binary search trees is given by C2, which is equal to 2. And you can see the two binary search trees, my dear friends, 1 and 2. Actually, it is like this. It is 2, 1 and it is 1, 2. The labels with 1, 2 labels, you can have two binary search trees possible, my dear friends. And with three nodes, with three nodes, what is the answer? C3, that is equal to 5. Let us assume that the three nodes are 1, 2, 3. The possible binary search trees are, the possible binary search trees are, this is your 3, 2, 1. This will be your 3, 1, 2. And this is your 1, 2, 3. And the next binary search tree will be 
it is 1 and it is 3 and it is 2 and the fifth one will be 1, 2 and 3. So, these are the binary search trees using 3 nodes. Okay. The next problem is fifth one that is stack permutation, number of stack permutation. See the number of possible permutations of the n symbols 1 to n using stack, we call them as number of stackable permutations that is given by C n my dear friend. For example, if you are having only one number, the number of stack permutation possible will be 1. That is one number, one permutation possible using stack. With two numbers, two stack permutations are possible. That is, if you are having 1, 2, using stack, you can get 1, 2 as well as 2, 1. The idea is simple, sir. If you are having 1, 2, if you want to get 1, 2 back, you can push 1, pop 1, push 2, pop 2, you can get this particular permutation. If you want to get 2, 1, first push 1, then push 2, pop 2 and pop 1. You can also get this particular permutation using stack. That is 1, 2, 2, 1, both are possible. But when n is equal to 3, number of stack permutations C3 will be 5. And what are those stack permutations, my dear friends? We can get 1, 2, 3. We can get 1, 3, 2. You can get 2, 1, 3. You can get 2, 3, 1. You can get 3, 2, 1. But you can never get 3, 1, 2 permutation, my dear friend. 3, 1, 2 permutation is not possible using stack. So, we call it as non-stackable permutation. For example, if you see 1, 2, 3, if you want to get 3, 1, 2, till 3 you have to push everything, then you can get 3 by popping 3, but you cannot get 1 before popping 2. That is without getting 2, we cannot get 1. That is, this is never possible. So, only 5 stack permutations are possible. Similarly, with 4 numbers, C4 that is 14 stack permutations are possible. Normally, with 4 numbers, we can have 4 factorial that is 24 permutations are possible, but out of 24, we can only get 14 permutations using stack. So, the number of stack permutations is also given by Catalan number, my dear. The last problem which I am considering here is number of lattice paths below the main diagonal. That is number of paths going from one point to the other point on a plane without crossing main diagonal is also given by Catalan number. The number of lattice paths not crossing the main diagonal y is equal to x from 0, 0 to n, n is also given by Catalan number. See the path, see this is suppose 0, 0. In our example, it is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. I am trying to find number of paths from 0, 0 to 5, 5, which do not cross this particular main diagonal and that is also given by Catalan number. See, as I mentioned, there are many problems for which Catalan number turns out to be the solution. That is the beauty of the Catalan number. So, if you want the solution for your problem, that is number of lattice paths not crossing main diagonal y is equal to x from 0, 0 to phi phi is given by the formula C phi. You know C phi is equal to 42. There are 42 such paths. One path is shown here. There are 42 such paths can be created from 0, 0 to phi, phi, which cannot, you know, which cannot go beyond this y is equal to x. That is, I'll just show with some other color, like you know, this is the one which crosses this main diagonal, sir. I want number of paths which do not cross y is equal to x. How many such paths are there? C5, 42. Hope you understand. So, these are some very, very important problems for which Catalan number is the solution, my dear friend. In the next 
session we come up with one more interesting topic thank you